Hopkinton native Kayla Lukowitz is running the Boston Marathon for the Brigham and Women's Hospital Stepping Strong Center. She hosted a night featuring beer tastings and raffle prizes at Startline Brewing to raise money towards her fundraising goals. Sure, so I'm running the Boston Marathon for Brigham and Women's Hospital, um, their Stepping Strong Center, which is their center for trauma innovation. So this is a great event here at Startline Brewing. Uh, we've got a ton of raffle baskets, um, a lot of people hanging out, having some good food and good beer, so it's all, all good stuff. All right, and why are you running the Boston Marathon? Um, so, really interested in running just because I grew up here in Hopkinton. You kind of have to run if you grew up here as a runner, and uh, I wanted my first and probably only, people keep telling me otherwise, but probably only marathon to be for a good cause, and so uh, an opportunity opened up at um, Brigham and Women's, and I just thought it was, it's such a great hospital, and they do such great work. It was an honor to run for them. Excellent, and uh, how's the training going, and uh, how long have you been training? Um, train's going okay. Uh, I ran 10 miles this morning and I'm still standing, so that's good. Uh, our longest run is in two weeks and that's going to be 22 miles from Framingham to the finish. Uh, so we'll see how that one goes, but that's the furthest I've ever run in my life, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, well, uh, we wish you the very best of luck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for all, right. all that contributed. I know you have a lot of charities to support or ask often. It's really important to Kayla, her charity as well today, and to us. Thank you for making it a little bit special today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, so if you don't know, this is for Brigham and Women's Hospital, the Stepping Strong Center. So it's their Center for Trauma Innovation. It was founded after the Boston Marathon bombings to help with some of the terrible things that happen in our lives. And so it'll all go to really great research and cutting edge stuff. So thank you guys for going for the raffle tickets. What we'll do is... I'll draw your name and you can choose your basket. Um, and if someone's not here, we'll kind of put them at the end and see what's left for them. So. Great event going on today to raise money for uh, Kayla and uh, running the Boston Marathon for the uh, Brigham Women's. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about the uh, turnout and how the event went today? Uh, well, we're, we're real pleased with it. We This is uh, our second marathon season uh, since we've opened. and We had a couple great fundraisers last year and we're hoping to do it again this year. Kayla's our first one this marathon season. Nice turnout. What we typically do is uh, you know, just open up our, our space to a couple runners every year that are trying to raise some money for their respective charities and it's part of how we give back as part of our brewery to the community. We are Startline Brewing after all here in Hopkinton so uh, the marathon footprint is very really important to us and connecting with people that are running and their families and the communities and their charities is, is really what it's all about for us. So uh, we're real pleased with doing this and uh, I think our customers enjoy it as well. It gives a little excitement to their day when they come in and visit. Excellent. Can you talk about some of the festivities going on today? I understand some uh, taste testing going on. Sure. We, we've been doing some, well, like, like we do all the time, we, we test new uh, beers. We had two new beers we launched for this holiday, or excuse me, this marathon season. Uh, we have a brand new marathon wheat beer that we launched uh, about a week and a half ago, and also a marathoner IPA, which actually recognizes another runner, uh, Wade Marshall, who's the president of the Hopkinton Running Club. Uh, all the proceeds from that particular beer are going to the 26.2 Foundation here in Hopkinton, and uh, we are uh, real pleased with our relationship. We're an official sponsor now of the 26.2 Foundation, so uh, it's great for us to have a little bit of merchandise and uh, some some marathon specific products uh, that are that are both uh, geared towards runners, but also the community. And again, some of those proceeds are going back to to the town and, and to uh, the charity here locally with the 26.2 Foundation. Can you talk a little bit about how the uh, response has been to Startline Brewery open up in town? I understand that a lot of people like your beer. Well. We're very fortunate. Uh, the community support has blown us away. Uh, we've been open a little bit, a, a little over a year and a half now, and uh, every every day, every week, every month, we keep growing. We're in about 80 bars right now, uh, about 40 retail stores, adding a couple every every week, and uh, the business is growing. And that wouldn't happen without the community really supporting us wherever they see our beer. Uh, so we're really, really fortunate to have. Um, some great recipes, some awesome brewers that are committed to high quality beer. 
um, and it's really resonating with with our customers and the community. So, you know, part of it's just being hyper local and being really accessible to everybody here out in Hopkinton uh, and all of Metro West. Um, so, you know, it's craft beer is really popular right now. We're no exception with enjoying a nice, nice uh, bump in um, in our business because we're here at the right time in a great community and and making great beer.